When straightening frames, there are times you can eyeball stuff and times when you absolutely have to measure. When measuring, you can use a tape measure, but many times things get in the way, preventing you from getting accurate results. A handy tool that can get around that is a tram gauge. So today, we're going to take a quick look at how to use one. Let's say you had to measure from this piece of tape to this piece of tape, and there was something in the way like a muffler or an engine part. You could try to measure that with a tape measure, but you'd have to bend that tape measure around the object and your measurement wouldn't be that accurate. With a tram gauge, you can go from point to point, lock it into place, and get an accurate measurement. This SUV was hit in the front and it pushed everything over to the right, as you can see by this bracket. Before taking any measurements, I'll give you a few up close shots of all the gaps so you can get a better idea of what we're working with. Over on the right side, we have a really tight gap between the fender and the door, and a wide gap between the hood and the fender. And here's a shot of the other side. There is software that provides specific measurements for each vehicle, but if you can build a square shed, you can square up a frame. So let's take a few measurements. The diagonals have to be the same for this vehicle front end to be square. So let's take a measurement from this bolt to a specific spot up here in the core support and we have four feet. Now if we go from this bolt to the other side we have this object in the way and we can't really get get a really good measurement because this is in the way. So instead, we'll use this telescoping tram gauge and put it on the bolt and go right to that point. Now, when we go from there to here, it needs to be the same. So we'll put it on that bolt head and as you can see, it's short by about two inches. And let me give you a close-up shot of that. The point on the tram gauge should be right here. But we're a couple inches short, so we have some squaring up to do. Underneath, we're looking a bit better. We'll go from this hole to the center of that bolt. The measurement needs to be the same from this hole to the center of that bolt and we're just a bit off. Tram gauges and other measuring equipment can look intimidating, but remember if you can square up a picture frame, you can square up a car frame. And this tool can help by allowing you to get accurate measurements around objects that are in the way. I hope you enjoyed this video on introducing the tram gauge, and if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.